If you've been looking for an Excel template to help you plan and track your budgeting, then I've got just the thing for you. I created this personal budget template for Excel to make managing your money super easy. You can make a plan to allocate your income, then you have a space to track all of your expenses and savings, and finally, you have a simple summary page that shows you what you've planned, what you've spent, and what you've saved. And probably my favorite part is the dashboard that gives you a quick overview of the most important information that you want to know. As you can see, this template is actually pretty simple, but that is what makes it so great. Planning and budgeting doesn't have to be so complicated and hard. In fact, the easier it is, the more likely you are to stick with it. And so that's why I created this template. That said, you can find a link in the description to get yourself a copy. And if you want to see all the ins and outs of how to use the template, then stick with me because I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. And then you can see for yourself how simple and easy it can really make your budgeting. Okie dokie, so the place that you always want to start is on the planning page. You can plan one month at a time, or you can plan several months in advance if that works better for you. You start by listing your income categories and then the income that you'll be expecting for each month. And if it's the same for several months, you can simply use the fill handle to copy over your numbers so you don't have to type them over and over again. Plus, the template automatically shows you your month totals here and your category totals here. Now up at the top, you have your money that needs to be allocated. This comes from the income numbers that you enter below. And as you plan out your expenses and savings, the allocation number updates automatically. For instance, once you list your expenses and then start entering in the amounts, you can see that the allocation number updates all on its own. And it works the same way for your savings categories too. As you type in your savings plans, you can keep an eye on how much money you have left to allocate. This makes it really easy to work with and adjust your numbers to fit your expected income. And by the way, let's say that you have more expense, income, or savings categories than are listed here. Well, what's great about this template is that you can expand any of these tables to add more categories. Just select a row above the last line of the table that you want to expand, right click, and select Insert. This gives you a new row to add more info, and the only formula that you have to copy down is the one over here in this total column. And you can do this as many times as you need. Now once you've finished planning your month or handful of months, you can move on to the tracking page. Here is where you track your actual income, savings, and expenses. So as you earn, spend, and save money in real life, you simply track those transactions here. Now you might already have some money that you're starting with, and if you do, just enter that number right in this box. Then you can see the two boxes on the right show you how much money you have available to allocate to expenses or your savings, and the bottom number shows how much that you've saved. And these numbers update as you enter your transactions in the table below. Speaking of transactions, let's look at how you would log the different transactions that you will come across in real life. Let's start with an easy one, income. Just enter the date, select income for the type, and then under category, you have a list of your income categories. Just pick the one you want, then add a description if you need one, and then add the amount. The income is added to your allocation money, and now you can save it or spend it. Speaking of spending, let's do that one next. To enter an expense, just add the date, select expense for the type, and then you have your list of expense categories to pick from. Select the one that applies, add a description if you want, and then for the amount, make sure that you enter the amount as a negative number. And that's because any time that you log a transaction where money is going out instead of coming in, like an expense, you enter the number as a negative number. That's the most important thing to remember when logging your transactions. That said, let's cover the last part of the tracking page, which is how to enter savings. First, let's talk about how to add money to a savings category. Just enter the date, select savings for the type, and then pick the savings category that you want to add to. Enter a description if you need one, 
and then enter in the amount as a positive number. When you do, the amount value that you enter is subtracted from the money to be allocated and added to your total savings. And that's what you want. When you assign money to a savings category, that is another form of allocating your money. Now the question is, once you've saved up enough for a specific savings category and you're ready to spend that money, how do you log that? For example, you've saved up some money for some gifts, but now you actually want to use that money to buy gifts. So how do you log that in the tracking table? Well, just follow these steps. Enter the date of the transaction, select savings for the type, select the savings category that you are spending from, add a description if needed, and then enter in the amount is a negative number. And that's because any time that you are spending money, either from an expense category or from savings, you enter the number as a negative number. And that's because the money is going out instead of coming in. And one more thing about adding transactions. Once you fill up all of the spaces in this table, you can expand it simply by clicking on the bottom right corner and dragging down to give you more table space. And you can do this as many times as you need. And I'd say that's about everything you need to know when it comes to tracking your money in the spreadsheet. Super easy to do, right? That said, let's move on to the summary page. On this page, pretty much everything updates all by itself. You can see your income numbers, expense numbers, and saving numbers all in one place. For example, if you want to see how much you've spent on food and how much you have left, it's all right here. And the best part is you have complete control over which month that you want to see your numbers for. Just make sure to set the correct year here in cell C3 and then select the month from the drop down menu in cell G3. All the numbers update to show you your stats for the selected year and month, and you only had to change two cells to see it. Super simple, super easy, and super helpful. And that brings me to the last page of this workbook, which is the dashboard page. This page shows you the information for the month that you selected on the summary page and it shows you a lot of really cool information. You can see how much of your income that you've spent. You can see your tracked spending versus your planned spending. You can see how much you've got left to spend in each category, as well as how much income that you've received as well. And at the top, you can easily see what your savings balances are for each savings category that you have. How awesome is that? And if you want to change the month for the dashboard, just go back to the summary page, change the month, and when you go back, you have all the numbers for the month you selected. Super simple, super easy, and super helpful. And just in case you want to see a yearly view rather than a monthly view, go back to the summary page, leave the month selection blank, and now you have a yearly view of your income, spending, and savings. How cool is that? Well, that's about it for the personal budget workbook for Excel, and like I said, this is an awesome tool to help you get your budget organized, especially if you are looking for something that's fun and easy to use. And you can use the link in the description to get your very own copy right away. In fact, you're going to get four workbooks in your download package. You will get both the light and dark dashboard versions, and you'll also get two workbooks that contain simple data to give you an idea of what the results will look like. Don't miss out on giving this workbook a try and have fun planning and tracking your budget the easy way in Microsoft Excel. Thank you so much for watching and letting me tell you about this awesome spreadsheet. And until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.